Nothing's wrong, Dinah, nothing at all. Are you drunk? Why is everyone so bloody concerned with my real estate of sobriety this evening? You, O'Neill, if you'll excuse me, Dinah Marlar, I have a party to attend. Wait, 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 come here, come here. Jeffrey was just here. Did you talk to him? Yeah. Strange conversation. Fire. So the fire was the gist of it. Wait a minute. I mean, you didn't tell him what you did to him, did you? What, that I boppied him on the head with a little shovelette? Now, why would I do that? Ruin everything. It would ruin everything. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Dinah. I didn't tell him anything. Except for a moment there, I thought. What? I thought that he knew. Guess you were to find out that I was an attempted shovel murderer. Well, that'll be that. No wedding for you. You know? No one knows that other than me, except you, Dinah. You didn't tell anyone, did you? No. No, I didn't, Evan. I didn't say anything. Good. Because if I were to find out that you did, you don't want to know what I would do to you. I plan on spending the rest of my life with Cassie. She is the best thing that ever happened to me. You are the best thing that has ever happened to her. You are. You are a very special man. The way that you've turned your life around, you're great. Not me, Dinah, Cassie. It was her love that did it. The love of the right person, Dinah. That's all it takes. Yeah. The love of the right person. I do agree about that. Good night. Hey. Hello, Dinah. What happened with Edmund? I know that you spoke to him about the night of the fire. But I also know that you didn't tell him what you know. Why not? Because I didn't know the truth until I talked to him. We skirted around the issue. He did it all right. I saw his reaction. He hit me on the head with that shovel and started that fire. Left me there to die. And for some reason, he changed his mind, decided he wanted to come back and save me. Maybe he has a conscience. Or maybe he just didn't want to get caught because he knew that Cassie would leave him. She still would, if she knew. Hey, what are you going to do? Are you going to keep this to yourself, or are you going to tell Cassie the truth? I don't know. What possible reason do you have for not telling Cassie what Edmund did to you? Because it would break her heart, Dinah, which is exactly what you want, isn't it? Oh, that and also to have Eddie Boy as your little victory prize once Cassie dumps him. Oh, you know what? Let, let me get this straight. You're gonna let Cassie walk down the aisle with a guy who nearly killed you and her son purely out of spite for me? And you thought I was twisted? Whatever, Dinah. Whatever. No, do, you want, do you want to know what this is about? I'm gonna tell you what this is about. You are holding back because you are afraid that Cassie is not gonna believe you. And then when she questions your motives for telling her, well, then it's all gonna come out how you feel about her. And Jeffrey, you see, that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing because it is high time she knew. Dinah, go home. If you were waiting for me to tell Cassie, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, Emin would hate me forever. If you want this done, you're gonna have to do it yourself. You are the only one that can stop this wedding, Jeffrey. I'm getting ready to drink alone, and I don't want to do that. Look, okay, I know you're freaked out. This is a difficult decision. Do you let Cassie marry a man who assaulted you with a shovel? Or do you walk away and let the woman you love marry Edmund? It's tough, I know. But I need you to call me. Daddy, what are you doing here alone? Uh, Blake decided to turn in early this evening. I I've been wanting... Are you all right? No, but nothing a martini can't fix, I hope. Oh, 
Well, I've been meaning to talk to you, seeing that uh, Cassie and Edmund are getting married tomorrow. No worries. I am so fine. Okay? Now, come on. I'll meet you inside. Who it is? Are you surprised? A little. This uh, invitation isn't for real? Well, that's my handwriting, so it must be real, huh? You gonna ask me in or you gonna make me beg? I have to warn you, I do get into trouble after I've been drinking. Wow. Then I'm glad I brought my friend around. Cassie, this is trouble. Trouble. This is Cassie. Nice to see you again. doing lurking around here lurking Reva lighten up this is a public place not for you in case you've forgotten Blake has a restraining order out hey, on I didn't you. get anywhere near daddy's and Blake's suite then what were you doing nothing were you bothering Cassie <sighs> Cassie 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 could I get through a day without hearing Cassie's name oh no you don't Playing watchdog, Reva? You want to walk me over to the towers and tuck me in for a good night's sleep? I'd like to tuck you into a prison cot. Well, Cassie got over it. Maybe you should try it. I don't want you doing anything to ruin her wedding day. I don't think you really need to worry about me. Are you sure that Jonathan is tucked away safely tonight, Mommy? Jonathan has his troubles, but he's not out to get Cassie. That's your hobby. If you take one step anywhere near that wedding, you'll have me to contend with. Mm. Shaking. Well, you should be. I'm not going anywhere near Cassie's stupid barnyard wedding. If anything happens, it'll be her doing. You're right about me. When I first came to Springfield, I wanted to get back at Cassie, but that wasn't the only reason. Don't give me that looking for love stuff. Riva, I did something. Something? Something that could ruin Cassie's wedding. Dinah, what are you talking about? I knew that Edmund was planning to be here tonight, even though it's bad luck to see the bride before the wedding. So Edmund is here? Well, I don't know. But uh, when I was on my way back from placing papers in, in Jeffrey's room, I walked by Cassie's suite, and I overheard her speaking to Edmund, or leaving a message, I'm not sure which. And you were able to do that because you had your ear pressed you up against her finish, door? let me please? Can oh, I get it out? out? Really, I'm knock yourself out. I didn't mean any harm. So what did you do? I called him. I called him. I said you that there what? was... I said that there was an emergency. He needed to get to the hotel as soon as possible. So he is upstairs? My guess is that he is. Knowing Edmund, he would even risk bad luck for the woman he loves. That's it. I just confessed I feel better. I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. Have a good night. Not so fast. <clears throat> Daddy. Hello, sweetheart. What is uh, going on here? Ross, she already has her hands dirty. Oh, come on. 
again. Oh, come All on. I was doing was trying to promote real love. Oh, Is that so? God. Yeah. I'm gonna go check and make sure my sister's okay. Why wouldn't Cassie be okay? Well, I don't know. It beats me. Really? Daddy, I didn't do anything. Okay, I promised you I was gonna be good, and I've been good. Good as gold. <laughs>